I'm going to go ahead and open up the Project Explorer to select the file we just collected. On the top, you can see the accelerometer data, and on the bottom, the gyroscope data. And then over here on the right, you have the video which has been synced up. So as you can see, it's very easy to identify what part of the time series sensor data corresponds to which gesture. There are two modes of segmentation that you can use within the Data Capture Lab. One of them is manual, where you manually place the labels around the events that you're interested in. The other is automatic segmentation, which we're going to use in this tutorial. So the toolkit has several auto segmentation algorithms, which you can parameterize to identify different gestures. Uh, and those algorithms will run in the cloud as well as on the device to identify the segments. Once the segment's identified, it's fed to the classifier. So in this case, it comes back with a number of segments. And so what we're going to do is label those segments uh, with ground truth so we can use it for our training. And you'll also notice that it's come back with segments that aren't necessarily the gestures we're interested in, which is just fine. We'll use the no punch label to identify those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to label all of the jab gestures that are part of this data set. And then I'm going to go ahead and label the other gestures as no punch. So by doing this, we're able to collect a corpus of very high quality boxing gestures, as well as good examples of negative events that we'd like to exclude from our model.